Good morning. Today I'm going to Nara, which is kind of like a nature area with deer that bow to you and other fun things. So I'm looking forward to that. I think it's quite a bit of a ride there, like an hour and a half and it's getting late. So I don't know if I'm gonna have a very long day there, but we'll see how that goes. Now I tried filming this opening bit earlier before I had my coffee and it was a disaster. I was making a huge embarrassment to myself and I couldn't say anything right. So now that I've had my coffee, I'm okay. There's no life before coffee. I mean, it all makes sense now. This is why there's no life on Mars. They don't have a Starbucks. When they send the astronauts on the Mars missions, they better bring a barista or it's gonna fail miserably. Anyway, I'm on my way to the train station now, so I will see you guys on the other side. So I've made it to Nara, now what? I bought a day pass, or a bus day pass, and I've got a map, and I'm gonna take the city bus around. I think my first stop is gonna be Nara Park. There's also a bunch of really cool temples and stuff around here, so I think I'm gonna check those out. But first is the park, because I really wanna see the deer. They're supposed to do something pretty cool that I'll show you guys later, so I'm kind of excited to go to the park and see that. But we need to talk. I've spent a whole bunch of money on baking again. This is becoming a problem, like an actual problem, because I'm spending all my money on food. I'm eating all my money. What I didn't expect coming here was that the food was gonna be so good. I mean, I was so worried before coming on spending all my money on things like camera gear and recording equipment that I didn't think I'd be spending all my money on the amazing food here. I mean, it's just, it's becoming a problem. Anyway, I gotta find my bus and get to Nara Park, and then I will talk to you guys when I'm there. Okay, so I've just got off my bus. I'm now at Nara City Park, and I've seen some cool sights while on the bus already, and I'm super excited to show you guys this. Deer. Lots and lots of deer. Not only do these deer laze about with people in town, but you can feed them, pet them, take pictures with them, and they're just generally happy to see people in general. And it isn't just this area either. They're like all over town. Like there's a good like, two kilometer square radius where there's just deer everywhere on the streets, using the crosswalks, feeding from people, and just hanging out. I mean, look at it. Isn't that crazy? That's cool. I mean, you see deer in town in Canada, but not like this. Okay, and you guys have to check this out. This is so cool. Like a true Japanese citizen, it will bow if you bow to it. Watch this. Bow, it will bow. See? Bow, bow. Bow, bow, bow. Okay, food. <laughs> now I can take deer selfies. I don't think he knows it's a video. <laughs> I love how casual these deer are. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Although I think that one's pretty hungry. I don't think there's any food in there, but damned if he isn't gonna try and find some. Okay, that's enough of the deer for now. I'm gonna go see what... Okay, so my next stop is this temple behind me. As you can see, it's kind of under construction, so I don't really know what I'm gonna find, so it's a surprise. 
So I think it was a good idea to come in here. I mean, look at that. Isn't that wild? This is huge. Even my wide angle can't get it in the shot. Now I understand why this temple is so big. Look at that. That is as big as the building itself. It is huge. Like, let me put it into perspective how big this is. See these people here? And then this is the statue. Like, and I'm using a very wide angle lens too. Perspective is already distorted enough. Like that's gotta be at least 60 feet high or 70 feet high. Como koten. And there's all these models of the grounds around here. Pretty cool, I'll show you some more. This one looks like a model of the great temple that we're in right now. And this is a model of the entrance that we came through, the main gate, which is huge. Like, this main gate is almost the same size as the temple itself. It's probably a bit bigger. And this is Tem on Tem. Here you go. So this statue is 15 meters tall. Okay, well, that was interesting. That was uh, way better than I expected, considering I couldn't see in past like the construction things, because I guess they're repairing the outside of the temple. So I just went in blindly, not knowing what I was gonna get. And that was a really good idea. Anyway, I'm going on to the next temple. So I've made it to the shrine that I wanted to go to. It's really calm here actually. All these Shinto temples and mountains have a certain calm feeling to them that you don't really find anywhere else. And I have all these really cool lanterns that line the whole mountain, just like the tor Tori gates at Fushimi Nari Shrine. So I'm gonna look around a bit. Shinto temples and shrines and the mountains that they sit on have a sort of peaceness and serenity to them. Even when people are around, there's still an undercurrent of calmness coursing through everything. from the sounds and everything else that goes along with it. There's always a relaxing atmosphere in everything. I think 
as somebody from BC who's been around nature most of his life, I appreciate the connection to nature that these Japanese religions have. It's really quite familiar but foreign in the same, at the same time. And I like that a place as populated as Japan still has places like this and respects places like this. It's very relaxing. Anyway, I've been wandering around this mountain for a number of hours now. I'm starting to get hungry, so I'm gonna go get dinner. So last night I neglected to film an ending for the vlog. For dinner I went to a takoyaki bar and had a whole bunch of takoyaki and beer and talked to a couple really cool people for a while. So when I got home I completely forgot about the vlog and neglected to film an ending. So this is that ending. Until next time, good morning?